Hey, welcome back. It's Claude Collier here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your ebook or PDF to ClickFunnels and then into your page or email. So, the first thing you want to do is uh, hover over accounts and click on digital assets. Now, what you'll want to do is uh, before actually adding your asset, you'll have to have it on your computer as a PDF or or something like that. So um, what you want to do is after you've done that, click add to new asset, add new asset, give your asset a name, find the file on your computer, um, and then fill out the rest of the details here and click create digital asset. Once you've done that, it'll be created inside of ClickFunnels. So I have two digital assets here. Um, so once you have downloaded your or uploaded your asset to ClickFunnels, what you want to do is uh, over here where it has the download arrow or icon, you want to then uh, just check to see if it is in fact your uh, PDF or ebook. So you want to do it, uh, what you want to do is open link in new tab. And if it's worked correctly, then your PDF or ebook should um, appear in this new tab. Now, what you want to do is take note of this link here. And once you've uh, uh, recorded that or um, copied this link, you can then add it to either your emails that you send out if you've uh, if they've. Uh, Given the email for a free ebook, you can either send it via email or you could even have it on the thank you page. So uh, let's just pretend that this is uh, our um, thank you page for our ebook. I know the wording doesn't state that, but um, let's just say that we've changed all that and this is now a download your ebook button. So what you do is you choose this option here where it says go to website URL. You would paste in your uh, ebook link and then you can decide to either open this link in the same tab or window that they are in now or if you wanted uh, you could uh, open it open it in a new tab or window okay and once you've decided that click save And then let's preview this. So th this link now should open up our ebook. There we go. And that's how it's done.